As your outgoing board chair, I would like to thank every member of Advocates and the Advocates staff for their support through what has been a very challenging two years. I am confident that the work we have done has positioned us to move forward confidently into all our strategic plans for the years ahead. And now, to begin that movement, I would like to pass it over to Rob Eby, the incoming chair, to introduce our 2021-22 Board of Directors. Thanks, Abe. Our board is very excited to get going this year. To help you to get to know each of us a little bit better, we've asked the board a few questions that you, our membership, might ask them yourselves. It helped me get engaged. I'm very curious. I like to be part of the community and I like to learn. If we don't have volunteers, we can, and if we're not helping ourselves, we cannot expect our government or other bodies to take care of us. We have to take care of ourselves. I saw it as a way of using my skills in a productive way. So things I've learned, pe things people have taught me, things I could pass on to others uh, in a meaningful way. And you know, to be truthful, I also read somewhere along the way that studies show a direct correlation of volunteering to healthy, happier, and more robust psychological well-being. Well, that's true, I found it a good thing in my view. You know, I think it's important to be involved in other sectors of your business, not just facilitating consumers and building your business, but also understanding your business and having a voice when it comes to regulators. Volunteering with Abacus specifically for me is all about the association, and I don't mean the capital A association or the entity that is Abacus. I mean the association and connection that I've enjoyed with each and every one of the members, volunteers and staff that I've had the privilege and pleasure to work with over the years. They bring out the best in me. And you also have to think that if you don't do it on a volunteer basis, it just isn't going to get done in the same way. It's a chance to continue to learn. You know, the, the world is changing and Advocus is ahead of the curve in many respects. And I've learned so much in the year that I've been with the organization and I look forward to continuing along that curve. Uh, I think it's really important to be a member of a professional association because it um, shows to your clients and to your colleagues that you take the profession seriously. Uh, a title protection and a profession implies competence, uh, standards, education, discipline, all the things that good advisors want to be and all the things that the public uh, deserves in their financial advisors. I believe it diminishes doubts in the minds of the public that the advisor is, is credible and able to deliver the right advice. It should diminish bad actors and provide better financial outcomes for Canadians. I think first and foremost, we want consumers to be dealing with professionals. Uh, I'm a licensed professional engineer as well. And I had to have education. There's a code of conduct, there are standards, there are ethics, and there are regulated credentialing bodies across the country. And I think we need to have a professional credentialing body to protect our consumers. To me, it's hard to call yourself a professional if you're not a member of a professional organization. What are you doing if you're not a member of a professional organization? You look at a, an organization like, like Advocus, we advocate not only for our members, but for the public as well. I also believe it gives advisors the value they need to flourish in this industry and tackle successfully the changing landscape to be that invaluable source of advice to the public. Governments can't be as close to the issues as the people dealing with them on a day-to-day -day basis. And conversely, the association ought to strive to offer value to the members of that association. So things like access to education and training and continue education credits to align to industry requirements for attainment. My primary goal, as I see it, is to ensure that the board and leadership team really get the priorities of our members and volunteers, and at the same time, we make sure that our members and volunteers get the priorities of the association as a whole, so we can all pull together towards the common good. My first goal is to promote the awareness of the association the value we can bring to our members, especially the next generation of financial services professionals. You know, it's important that we have 
uh, you know, financial advisors out there for our consumers. I think it's important that we have a strong association that reflects the value to the consumer as well as obviously to the advisor to have a strong business practice. And I really just want to be that voice. Um, um, my goal as a member of the board is to help represent the smaller businesses. Um, I'm an independent broker and I just want to make sure that the voice of the smaller businesses in the smaller regions of the country are heard, especially when dealing with regulators and large corporations. Now, of course, members will know one of our key priorities for this year is title protection and having you know, legislation and standards in place across the country, uh, starting with Ontario and, and certainly in other jurisdictions, to uphold that professionalism. All organizations are facing various types of risks uh, as we have been in the pandemic, as we come out of the pandemic. So I wanna make sure that we as the board are fully aware of, of whatever risks that might might uh, befall us, whether they're financial or otherwise. And Thanks once again to our outgoing board and chair, Abe Tays. And I hope that all of you as members of Advocates are looking forward to an outstanding 2021-2022. We hope to be able to see many of you in person soon.